Right, very quick video. Managed to get in the church, it was open. Just brought in to put a few flowers in the cup holder. This is Elizabeth de Burr, and that's John Inglesthorpe. Been in here for a long time. I'm sure they're eroding quicker though. I've been viewing them for several years now. Yeah, it's all part of history and they'll erode and so will I. I like coming back. So I've been, I was here less than two years ago. Um, September 2017 I came. I've got at least four or five generations, if not seven, generations baptised in this font, by the way. I can't remember how many generations, but I know it's quite a few. Still needs a lot of loving care, this church, so... It's got some beautiful history. This is, you know, you wonder why, what's happening, don't you? And, you know, you just wonder. You know, what's happening to these places? It is a worry, it's a big worry. It's a massive worry. Right, one last walk and I've got to get moving, I'm afraid. i to get on the motorway. I always, I think about this place a lot. And, uh... My ancestors have walked through here. I'm very fond of this church, I feel very close indeed to the to the people buried here. <clears throat> they are true ancestors. And, um, looks a bit sad, doesn't it, down there? Westwood, somebody, Westwood. She could be Julie, 1962 to 1992, because she was only 30. I think it was Julie. Julie Westwood. Hmm. Sounds a bit familiar, the name. Little unforgotten plot, that, isn't it? I never spotted that before. Yeah, it's a shame I'm not just staying up the road, really. I need to do all the churches again. Ronald John Starling died 1982, age 77. And his wife, Alice Sarah Starling. There's even a Fred, Alfred Ware there. Because we go back to the Samson Ware time. There we go, our last little journey. I always remember this little graveyard. Peaceful little graveyard, this is. Yeah. Peaceful little graveyard. Well, Edward, I know you never met me, Edward, but I'm your 
great 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 granddaughter and come to visit you and to give you some brightness yeah well there's no smiths nowhere in a smith spirit here not as far as I can see I need to head west now I was going to stay a couple more days you see but uh, the weather's supposed to be warming up now I've done a lot despite the weather mind I have done a lot ah Right, this is very important everyone. At the very last minute, this grave would have been here. I want you to realise that I've just found my first cousin. She died seven years after her husband, Ernest William Smith. This has happened to me before, by the way, as I'm leaving. I make a discovery. There we go. Amelia Mary Smith. Now, she was a Mitchell. Her mother was a wood. She died the 2nd of Jan... No, she was born the 2nd of January 1926. Died the 29th of June 2012. Much loved wife, mother and grandmother. Now, I came in 2017, but I didn't know about her then. Not really. I hadn't... I didn't link them up here. Wow, they're both in there. That's interesting, isn't it? So they were here, they were saying, go and have a look round, Sheila. We'll give you, come back to us at the end. Oh, fancy that. Not far from my oak people. Yeah, my oak people are just behind you. But you're not connected. Yes, no. No, you're not connected. The woods aren't connected to, um the oaks that was through my mum's side not my dad that was my mum's side the oak family well fancy that i've got a lovely picture of you two in the bar at the pub okay i'm just gonna take a picture right then folks this is it this is it now um at the very last minute, I was just about to go. I just thought I'd go up and do that corner. And I spotted the grave. There's the, not far from my oak graves. So here's my oak graves. I just borrowed a flower. One for Ernest and one for Millie. From their flowers that I give them. All right, Edward. Look after Millie. She's new. And Ernest. You might know some of his family. And over here, a nice, simple stone. A bit different to Bethnal Green, isn't it, Millie? Hey? Well, I didn't know if you were past or not. In fact, Ernie, Ernest was the same age as Jack. He was born in 1925, died in 2005 as well. He died in the November. Right. Okay then. You've probably got family here. Oh, they've got their big marquee up, look. Over there, marquee. God, I remember when I came back from... It was June they had it, though, that time. Isn't that weird? That's the first cousin of mine. Old as Ollie. That's what happened in those days. People had kids spread over long periods of time. Bye, Okies. Okay, so.